Greetings, hikers, backpackers, adventurous, outdoorsmen, whoever you are. Greetings to you all. I'm Bigfoot. Today, I want to do a review of a piece of clothing that I've been taking with me on some of my most recent through hikes. Many of you have had some questions on, and that is my Mont Bell Tachyon wind pants. Well, here are the Montbell Tachyon wind pants laid out. These are made with a fabric, a seven denier ballistic air light ripstop nylon. Basically what that's going to mean, a few things. First, this is feather light. I will show you on my scale what it comes in at. Now, this is going to be able to really trap your body heat inside of the wind pants so that you can stay warm. I don't just use these for high winds, but also for chilly mornings. These work great just throw them right over your shoes and throw them over your shorts or whatever you're hiking in just to be able to start to warm you up. And because it is so darn light, it's compact so well, you can just pull them right off again without taking your shoes off because of how big the openings are on the bottom of the wind pants. But it will literally fit in your pocket so you can stuff it anywhere. It's not going to take up much space. Another thing that I used this for on the Spear Hiking Trail was a bug barrier. Now, of course, these come in your normal sizes, small, medium, large, extra large. does have a drawstring inside for you to tighten it. And it also has a little internal pocket that you can you know, put something, whatever you want. Uh, it's not a very large pocket, but uh, big enough maybe for a credit card or whatever else you'll find that you maybe need to put in that. So let's go ahead and throw this thing on my scale and see what it comes in at. So like I said, this thing packs down to almost nothing and it's really nice. I typically would keep it on the outside of my pack in the mesh pocket. So let's check the weight of this thing. The manufacturer states that it's 1.9 ounces, which is exactly what we get on the scale, 1.9 ounces. So really nice, I mean, ultra light, feather light with this ripstop nylon that they use. Just, I was blown away with how great of a job that it kept with keeping me warm, with packing, with uh, really being that bug barrier. Totally worth the very small weight. Now, there was a time where I was putting on my pants and they got caught on my shoes and I almost tripped and fell. And I actually thought I might have ripped them, but there was no rip inside of them. I feel like these are pretty darn durable for how light they are and for the abuse of that happening. And I actually think it happened two times, not having any visual signs of wear from, from that getting caught was another big plus for me. Now, how I wear this, I'll kind of go over my layering system I'm out on the trail. So I'll have my Patagonia shirt, my lightweight shirt, then my Ex Officio boxer briefs. Then on top of that, I got my Nike running shorts, and then, of course, my Njinji socks. So what I'll typically do then, I'll start off with this. If it's a really chilly morning, what I'll do is I will put my Montbell tachyon pants right over my Nike running shorts. Now, I'll if it's chilly in the morning, I'll start with that, but once it starts warming up and I get really warm, I can slip these things off without taking off my shoes, which is a big deal for me because I don't have to stop, take my shoes off, take my pack off, go through all that crap, and it's just really, really nice. So love how easy it is to take them on and take them off. Now, if it was a little bit more chilly, the other things that I would do on the top, I would throw on my Patagonia Thermal Weight Quarter Zip Hoodie. I love this thing. This is probably my favorite piece of clothing that I own. And my Mont Bell pants is starting to become a close second. But I'll throw this on the top. And if it's really cold, then I will put on my Patagonia Capilene Thermal Bottoms. And these Capilene Thermal Bottoms are really light, actually. Uh, they actually come in under four ounces. Yeah. 3.4, so really sweet for how light they are and 
I've been using these for about two years, extremely warm. So that's kind of how I layer when I'm using these Montbell pants. And uh, like I said, these things have just been incredible for me in this short amount of time. I've only been on one through hike with these things, but I was super impressed. I'm bringing these out with me on the John Muir Trail, and I will report back uh, with this. But for the value of this, which I think comes about 100 bucks, but what you get and all of the advantages and how light it is, I just think it is one of those critical items that I'll probably continue to carry with me on the trail for years to come. Well, that wraps up my review of my Mott Bell Tachyon Wind Pants. These things are so super sweet, so super light, feather-like again at 1.86 ounces. They compress where you can literally fit them in your pocket. And the heat that they trap inside of these things make it an easy, easy decision for me to continue to bring these things out there on the trail. You saw how I layer these things and just how easy that this is to put on and take off without having to take my shoes off. So this is something that's well worth the 1.86 ounces that I take out on the trail and I highly recommend this piece of gear. Now, if you guys have this pair of the Montbell Tachyon Wind Pants, I would love to hear from you and what is your personal review of these things. Do you recommend them and why? Or do you not recommend them? And what's the reason for that? Stay tuned for more sightings and remember to always follow Bigfoot.